Schwartz here with Marty Music. Thank you so much for supporting me at my own thing that I'm doing now. Thank you. Gonna break down Thunderstruck by ACDC. Long live rock and roll. Let's have some fun. All right, so on the original recording, there's alternate picking going on. The, it's about 130 BPMs on a metronome, so it's really, really fast. It's much easier to do the hammer on pull offs. I'm gonna give you, you know, give you both options but it's pretty tough to do the alternate picking for the, for the whole song. Here's how I can, can do it if you, if you want to. I mean, something that I do is I plant my pinky. When I have to do like a uh, fast, like a legato, like on one string. And even that, I'm sloppier, you know? Uh, so that was with hammer-ons and pull-offs. So if uh, you want to be as accurate as possible, you're going to have to work on your alternate picking. Start slow and try and build it up. Um, or you can do these hammer-on pull-offs and uh, have it be, you know, more realistic to be able to actually play it or jam it with a band. So we have open B string, everything's on the B string. Right? So open B and then with one pick, because uh, I'm gonna teach you the, the hammer on pull offs now, we're gonna go. So one open and then a fourth fret, pull off open. So then I'm gonna reach up to the seventh fret of the B string and pull that off. It starts with that open string, but the move is basically. And then move it up a half step between the five and the eight on the B string. that option. Um, now we need to do just think every note, every fret I tell you is followed by a pull off open B string. So we're going to go 12, 10, 9. Then back up to 10. Then back. See that? So 
So then you have to go 7, 9, followed by 5, 7. So it kind of breaks the pattern there a little bit. Very nursery rhyme sounding, huh? Oops. followed by a repeating pattern of four and five on the B string, so. actually does that part almost the whole song. The so from the beginning. Sorry, 12, 10, 9, 10, 9, 7, 9, 5, 7, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, 5. <coughs> now the chugging chord underneath the... Is a B power chord, so we want two, four, four. We're gonna get some palm muting there. So palm muting with the right hand, and we're gonna go down, up, down, down. So we start with down, up, down, down. Down, up, down, 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 up, up. Down, up, down, 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 up, up. Down, up, down, 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 up, up. Down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down. And even if you're thinking of that pattern, you're going to be hearing, we want to focus on down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, down. But we're going to be hearing, even if I'm saying down, down, you're hearing those ghost ups, you know, as part of that palm muting. Down, up, down, 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 up, 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 down, 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 up, down. riff we need is <laughs> you know where then it holds out so we've got that B power chord then an A power chord real quick to an E power chord like this 
So that open A and second fret D, open E, second fret A. Look at the right hand. So then A, A, E. Then that brings us to some hits. Right? So first, it starts with the B, A, E. Does that same thing, but adds an A to start with. A, B, A, E. Again, A, B, A, E. Again, A, B, A, E. But the first one is B, A, E. Then A, B, A, E, right? So you've got... Shaking at the knee. Ugh, not even going to try. Here we go. Shaking at the knees. Could have killed any please. You been. So now we have what I would call the chorus riff. And it's revolving around the same kind of ideas, but it changes it up a little bit. It's the B power chord. You can do a two finger or the full one. To A. But then we have to do this kind of, it's really, it's the open A and open D. Which is like a backwards D power chord. Or inverted D power chord. And then to those two notes, which is the second fret of A and D. So. And that's like an E inverted power chord. So. Then it scoots over to the A power chord. Then up to the E power chord. So. From the top of this uh, chorus riff. So on the... There's three different strums where you, you're just strumming the A and D. Because that A power chord is that as well. That one as well. That one as well. That one as well. And then open E. So. Now we have what's called the bridge. Or that's what I'm calling it. And it's... Uh, just another variation on those B's and E's. So it's a B power chord again. And then 2nd fret, 4th fret on the E string. Then the E power chord.
right, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out for the lesson. I hope you got something from it. I appreciate you signing my newsletter at Marty Music and subscribing right here to Marty Music. All that stuff is greatly appreciated. Helps keep me going. So thank you. And uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thank you.